I'm Anthony Santiago. I'm Noah Dermody. And, and this, this is Salty Jobs. Jobs. We are standing here at Anchor Petroleum's facilities in Pompano Beach, Florida. Anchor Petroleum is a full service fuel delivery company that delivers for all types of vessels, on-site tanks, and generators. We'll be working through the logistics involved in the fuel delivery process today. First, we'll start out in the office to see how deliveries get scheduled, and then we'll head out to the dock to finish off the delivery. So, you ready to get to work? Let's get inside. I'm here today with Lanco Vice President Christine Lumblad. So Christine, can you tell me a little bit about what got you started in the fuel delivery business? Sure. It started as a part-time job when I was in college at the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. And how did you connect that into your current role as Vice President? Well, when I first began, they only had two trucks and two drivers. We also acquired Anchor Petroleum about five years ago and have grown between the two fleets approximately 20 trucks. Can you tell me about what your role is here as vice president in the company? I wear many hats and have multiple duties on a, on a daily basis, but I help with sales, procuring new customers, keeping customers happy. Uh, I sit on multiple charity boards. I'm involved in many community organizations, so a lot of networking to bring in new customers. How is the office here involved with the entire fuel delivery process? Well, it basically starts here. We have many charter fleets that we fuel on a routine basis. We have customers that'll call in for us to fuel their yachts. We have marinas that we deliver to. So everything gets scheduled here and then sent out for distribution. Well, that's great. Do you mind showing me the whole operation? Absolutely. When a customer calls in for an order, all their information gets put into a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet contains details about fuel amount, delivery address, and deadlines, which helps us plan our schedule. The checklist is then made for the driver, and they can head out for delivery. Right now, I'm standing here with Frank Sacadato, who is a fuel delivery driver for Anchor Petroleum. Frank, tell me a little bit about your career and how you got here. Well, right after college, I obtained a CDL license, knowing I wanted to get into the, um, delivering fuel. Life had taken me in different directions throughout my life, but I was able to maintain my CDL as a backup. And moving to South Florida, I knew I wanted to get back into it. Being outdoors is where I want to be, and I just love what I'm doing. I noticed you mentioned the CDL. Are there any other certifications that you need to obtain to further your career in this industry? Absolutely. There are, there are quite a few uh, credentials that you would need. You would have to start, obviously, with your CDL, obtain a hazmat endorsement as well as a tanker endorsement. Um, you're also required to have a TWIC card in order to enter the ports of entry. And each individual port has their own uh, ID office, and you would have to obtain an ID from them as well. So I know that you guys fuel for all types of vessels, on-site tanks, as well as generators. What are the different processes that go into each? Generators are more straightforward. We pull the hose to the generator, obviously monitor as we're filling to uh, avoid an overfill as, as well as monitoring the gauge. The smaller vessels are a little more straightforward as well. We'll bring the hose to the vessel and between either the captain or an owner on board, he'll monitor the gauges. But today's process is a little more intricate. It's called fuel bunkering. Uh, we have an extensive checklist that we go through to ensure the safety and the transfer of the fuel to the vessel. Well, let's get fueling. Before we can start fueling the vessel, we need to provide the captain with a sample of the fuel. Once the fuel sample has been signed off on, we start dragging the hose out to the vessel to begin fueling. Due to the size of this job, two trucks were required to ensure a continuous flow of fuel. Depending on which speed the truck is pumping, this process can take several hours to complete.
First, we're gonna start off in the office to see how the deliveries get scheduled, and then we'll end. Right now, I'm standing with Frank Sacadato, who is 